When Neo met the architect, the program proposed two alternatives. One door leading to the source, where Neo must deposit into the Prime program the code he carried, choose 23 individuals to rebuild Zion, and restart the Matrix. And the other door that led to saving Trinity's life and the extermination of the entire human race. It stands to reason that Neo's five predecessors chose door number one, rebooting the Matrix and rebuilding Zion. But what if one of them chose human extinction? What if the humans of Zion aren't human at all? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. First, it is important to understand that there are no real humans in the Matrix films, or at least, not as they once were before the war. There are fields, endless fields, where human beings are no longer born. We are grown. What Morpheus was saying is that the machines artificially grow humans. Humans as they were before the Matrix no longer exist. What's left are the results of genetic experimentation, hybrids created by the robots. The last generation of post-war humans were those who participated in the Beta Matrix, the humans that are in the Animatrix having their brains stimulated by the machines. This final generation of humans did not reproduce. They were the first to be part of this mental prison called the Matrix. From that moment on, the machines began to grow humans. But how did they cultivate them? We are not sure about the genetic engineering methods that the machines used to cultivate humans. They probably used preserved human DNA to birth this new breed of humans. Hybrids that since birth have mechanical parts and are connected to the matrix through pods. These humans could very well be clones or genetic incubated fetuses or a combination of both. The machines used existing genetic material and then combined them with technology. Though these half human half robot beings can still procreate. This is why there are humans like Dozer and Tank born from mother and father, no mechanical implants and impossible to enter the matrix. Though they are not pure humans, but rather the offsprings of genetically engineered hybrids. However, if the machines want to achieve the perfect matrix equation, they cannot leave the birth of humans to chance. These humans could indeed be clones, and that with each reboot of the matrix, the people that will populate the simulation are the same as the previous ones, repeating the same factors to have the same expected results. We can classify this as the first human extinction. With the death of the post-war generation of humans and the birth of a generation of machine-cultivated hybrids, humanity as we once knew it ceased to exist. This leads us to Neo's decision. Choose to save humanity or to save Trinity. Be the cause of human extinction or perpetuate the matrix. If Neo had caused a collapse of the simulation, and all the humans connected to it died, he would have effectively doomed humanity to extinction. But that wouldn't have been the end of the humans, because the machines could recultivate them with the same DNA bank they already had in their possession. The machines don't need humans to reproduce. This leads us to a terrible realization. What if the anomaly caused the extinction of humanity? We've assumed that Neo's five predecessors were obedient, that they choose door number one, restart the matrix, and save humanity. But what if one or more of the previous anomalies didn't choose to save the humans? That instead, they turned their backs on humanity. What would have happened then? This collapse of the simulation would create a ripple effect that causes the death of all humans connected to the Matrix. Add to that the destruction of Zion, no humans would be left alive. Perhaps this explains the architect's confidence. He knew what would happen if Neo chose not to go to the source. You won't let it happen. You can't. You need human beings to survive. There are levels of survival we are prepared to accept. If an anomaly was the cause of the extinction of an entire generation of humans, that means that the architect and that version of the Matrix failed. But if the anomaly returns to the source, then that means they succeeded in controlling said anomaly. Many of you have asked, why is it necessary to restart the Matrix? Neo, despite being an error in the equation, returning to the source works as a software update. 
The anomaly's code is studied and assimilated into the matrix, improving the simulation. Each reboot brings the equation closer to 100% efficiency. The restart is also necessary because the anomaly manifests itself near the end of every cycle. Therefore, this forces the architect to activate his contingency plans to control this eventuality. The inevitable realization is that humans have become products of machine experimentation. They are planted, grown, and cultivated like plants, meaning that there is a possibility that the machines did not only win the war, but also destroyed all of humanity. They extinguished the entire human race, and those humans in the films are nothing more than genetically engineered beings born from a petri dish. The machines lose nothing if Neo destroys the Matrix or causes the human crops to collapse. They can just grow more humans and restart the Matrix themselves. Makes you wonder if there exists a plausible solution to the predicament in which humanity finds itself in. The resemblances between machines and humans are increasing. That is how Smith was able to possess Bane because humans have become more machine-like. After hundreds of years of experiments on the part of the machines, humans stopped being what made them human. At the end of Matrix Revolutions, a truce between humans and machines was established, but this peace would not last long. What would happen if the people of Zion discovered that there had been five Zions before them, that they were part of the machine's evil plan, and that they are more like robots than humans? Some, if not most of the humans, would despise the machines even more. They would retaliate and try to destroy the entire system. However, others might seek complete assimilation. Perhaps this is part of the Matrix 4 plot. A war between hybrids. One side seeking to preserve what it is to be human, and another side accepting the inevitability of full robotic assimilation. One last thing. If the stories told in the Animatrix are false, Maybe these humans connected to the Matrix are an experiment by the machines in an attempt to recreate and see what the world was like before the machines. What if the machines did not kill the humans? Maybe it was the humans themselves who caused their own extinction and the machines recovered their DNA and created clones, placing them in a simulated world to understand their behavior. The machines may not be of human origin, but this is a theory for another time. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.